So let's see what they say from El Gordo y La Flaca. And it seems that, uh, Lily, I don't remember his name, to be honest. But let's see exactly because Raul de Molina claims that Kay Middleton not only suffers from cancer. I think it's him, Raul de Molina, I think he's the one they call El Gordo, the fat one, from El Gordo y La Flaca. So let's go. And they also speak with an expert in British royalty who would confirm that this could be, since 2018-19, it's been talked about, and this is a reality regardless of whether this news has come out, that this won't overshadow one thing, one piece of news doesn't overshadow the other. Meaning that yes, she is cancer and all you want, but Prince William, who could have been unfaithful, was here on the show a couple of days ago because I have a source that is an intimate friend of the family of the woman being talked about. Let's go live again with the royal expert Gabriela Morales in London this time. Let's go to Mexico, my dear. Oh, she's in Mexico. Sorry, she's not in London, she's in Mexico. Go ahead. Hello, Gabriela, how are you? Thank you for being here with us, thank you very much. Just well, I was on the air with Oscar Marcela Gutierrez, she lives in London. She and I are long-time journalists, correspondents, and we know perfectly well what this implies. And well, this restores their credibility, which they lost due to the photo you were talking about, Raul, which we still don't understand why they did it, we'll never know. But today we have the certainty that the press team of Kensington Palace, it's not that they were clumsy, it's not that they were bad, they were protecting her. And not only her, but also her children. But let's see what's going on, because it doesn't end here, but they come back with the issue of insisting at all costs for her to be the one to say when she feels ready what she had and what was happening. Gabriella, apart from this, and it's sad to say this at this moment, do you know what she's suffering too with the problem that has been talked about for months, that in the middle of this operation, her husband was said to be with someone who was known to her and even a friend of hers? That's right, this rumor has been going on for several years since 2019, they were very good friends, they stopped speaking. The reason is not known, there was a shady video that came out where it looked dark and where supposedly he was the one kissing this friend, Rose Hanbury. There was never certainty, it's not clear that it was Prince William. Also, I want to tell you that she is the wife of Lord Great Chamberlain of Queen Elizabeth I, and even though it's clear that it's strange that there are many conditions for this to happen, meaning they are both in relationships. So, this would be terrible, tremendous. So, he had a ceremonial position. This is a position that is inherited through generations, and in fact, the son of this couple, the Marquis of Candeli, was one, well, Candeli, I won't say more. Candeli, well, the pages of the coronation of King Charles III, and of course, inviting one of the children to die in the coronation of King Charles III as king, inviting her, well, it was a way to say, there's no such infidelity here. So, of course, it was a way for the sensationalist British press to say, there's no infidelity here. So, what's commented on in the little cafes of Kensington is nothing more than gossip. And in the end, wait a moment, I confirmed this a couple of days ago here on the show because I have a source, Raul de Molina is confirming that there was infidelity, a source that is an intimate friend of the family of the woman being talked about. That's why I bring up this issue because this woman, who is so beloved, Kay Middleton, who finally comes out of the cancer diagnosis, and if this is true, she's suffering double, and it got worse because of everything she's been suffering for over two years or a year and a half that this has been talked about. Wow, she says it would be worse, of course, because of the infidelity, it would be worse than it already is because of the cancer. Well, Raul, first of all, if you have it super confirmed, then I believe you without any problem. But I think in the end, everything is falling on them, not only does the King have cancer, not only does the Princess of Wales, as the doctor said, it could be anything else abdominal, even if it's preventive, she doesn't have absolute certainty that she will recover. I would trust, and I think we all hope that it will be so, but there's another member of the extended royal family in this case, Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, who although she's no longer part of the family officially, well, she's also the mother of the Prince William's cousins, she is cancer, and this speaks of very high incidence. So, it's true that she's no longer part of the royalty, but she's still part of the family, and wow, they are in a complete mess because in the end, now that William is known, I imagine that logically people will understand that William if he has to suspend any event to stay with the children because Kate is feeling unwell and the children are crying, and well, the concern is evident. And if one day she feels very unwell, then he won't go to that event, as happened with Constantine of Greece on the first anniversary of his death, and he didn't attend even though it wasn't going to be another circumstance of that caliber. Then he was from the monarchy of Greece and Spain go to your house a few kilometers away, and you don't show up there, obviously. 
now we understand why he didn't go, and now we understand that he will do fewer official acts, that he will do them shorter, that if we say. Now her schedule can indeed be adapted to the current circumstances in the British household because now we'll understand if an event is cancelled. It's true that every time something is cancelled, it'll cause a stir, the fact that, wow, for personal, reasons, wow, Kate will already be in a bad spot, that's true. It should be handled with care, but I would recommend to the British royal household in such cases to hold as few events as possible. William is there, I mean, right? And if they have to rely on Camilla, or whoever, then let them rely on others and Princess Anne or whoever, but it's done, you understand? It's a circumstance of several months that perhaps won't drag on too much because it's preventative with preventative chemotherapy. And that could mean it's just in case and perhaps it won't be as serious as one might think at first from the shock impact of having cancer, not the health situation, of course. What you're saying makes complete sense, right? It's a woman who has to endure a lot, who has to endure gossip, who has to endure accusations from Montecito, California, from her brother-in-law and her sister-in-law who have attacked her incessantly in books, documentaries, interviews, who are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And if this situation exists, as we were saying, they invite the page, the child, to calm the situation. So in any case, she's a woman who endures more than she can handle. I want to know if any of us could live in the public eye with the scrutiny of a total illness, and it's been scrutinized from top to bottom. The thing is that what Kate Middleton was saying was so important that nothing else has been said, not about her hair, her eyes, her face, whether she's gained weight, lost weight, what not. Really, none of that has been talked about, huh? What has impacted us is the message. It's true that the video looks quite good, it's clear she's as she always is, obviously, maybe a little less dressed up than usual because it was a message from her home. No, no, she didn't need to get dressed up for an event with a little hat and the usual stuff she usually does, but it was a very natural announcement. No, this strengthens her as a public figure. That's right, I want to tell you, just as the king's popularity has risen since his cancer announcement, she's already popular. She's the most beloved person in the royal family, so with this, well, she's shielded from any other accusations. You'll ask exactly that because here there's been a kind of cut, they're bringing up the topic again. Yes, she almost immediately came out to talk about her diagnosis. However, the Princess of Wales waited much longer. That's something protocol from the royal household due to the positions or something very personal to each person. He's the head of state and constitutionally obligated to say if he's sick, not what. But he has to come out and tell people, wow, he's obligated to say what he's sick with, King Charles, if he's not going, if he cancels a commitment. What he was doing doesn't need to, well, he doesn't need to say what type, but he does need to say, hey, I have to be absent for the reason that I'm sick too. Even Queen Elizabeth isn't constitutionally obligated to say. What, she never did, but he wanted to come out precisely because he's changing these customs, right? He's trying to be above protocol, and I want to say, even here, something beyond what I'm forbidden to say. Well, it's more protocol to be more prudent or more discreet as his mother was. He's an open book, he's a man who historically, as Prince of Wales, says what he thinks, doesn't hold back anything. It makes sense with him, but the question is, are their privacy and intimacy protected, both in their personal finances and in their medical records, or any other situation considered private or intimate? The difference is that he's done it as head of state. Gabriel, you couldn't have said it better. What's happening with Kate Middleton and what this woman has to do because people think it's an easy job to be part of? No, not at all, not at all. I don't think people think it's an easy job, huh? I've always said it, huh? Not everyone wants to be queen. When we've talked about Queen Letizia, sorry, who wants to be queen, who wants to be king, I value my privacy very much. I value being able to go to a park with my children and yes, I'll have all the clothes in the world, the best houses, but what for if I can enjoy it my way, with my people, with my free will, well, it's not worth it for me, for royalty. And it's the hardest job in the world for a woman like her. But on the other hand, you realize something about what's happening now, she is cancer, William has the problems that are being talked about, the affair with King Charles with cancer persists, and Camilla, who was the woman at one point that I would say people didn't want as queen. She's the one who's holding the palace together at this moment. Well, she's on vacation at the moment, it's curious, but precisely at this moment, she's neither with her husband nor she's gone. I mean, she's done several official acts, but like Prince William, she's gone on vacation at the worst time, I mean, I'm flipping out, she's the bastion that's holding up the British royal family because precisely Prince William should be second in command to the king, but of course, since he was supporting Catherine, he wasn't fulfilling all the roles expected of him. 
The thing is, they weren't telling us anything, and I think today it all makes sense, it makes sense to have the news, to assume it, etc. Now we understand why they weren't coming out. Thanks, Gabriella. thank you very much for all the information you gave us, a pleasure. Well, nothing, she has two problems according to Raul de Molina, Kate Middleton. First, cancer, which seems to be, well, the fact that it's preventive, we've commented on it in other videos on the channel, gives us hope that Kate Middleton simply is preventative, the word itself says it, not that perhaps she's been caught for a long time thanks to that abdominal surgery. And regarding the issue of the affair, well, it's still dragging on, in fact, Raul de Molina himself confirms to this. Expert Gabriella in the British royal household that, well, he clearly said a few weeks ago that, well, from someone close to Kate Middleton and Prince William, it's confirmed that there has indeed been an affair between Rose Hanbury and Prince William. My people, this is what I can tell you for now, see you in the next video with more updates, a greeting.